The chair recognizes the gentleman from Texas, Mr. Gomert, for five minutes. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I have an article here about the Justice Department. It says it continues to go easy on the 2020 rioters. These are people that destroyed government buildings, destroyed places of business, and yet this administration continues to not just prosecute, but persecute people who just came into the Capitol wrongly, should be punished, but to have people let loose immediately after burning people, being involved in incidents where people were killed, is absolutely an outrage to judgment. Then to put people under the control of a deputy warden at the D.C. jail who absolutely, maliciously, intentionally despises anybody that supported President Trump and she's in charge of these people, this is so dangerous and should not be allowed. Now, on top of that, we have the January 6th committee. They were not interested in following the traditions and the rules of the House with regard to committees where both parties could submit people for that committee membership. There is so much damage that is being done to this institution. It is not the collegial working. Sure, we have disagreements over the years, strong disagreements, but we've never seen anything like what we're experiencing now where we could have a commission that's totally made up of people that one party only wanted on the commission and others that the other party wanted on were eliminated. So something has got to be done. Now we have seen that this administration has not been particularly concerned with its constitutional duties, like the one in Article 4 that mandates that the, the federal government must protect the states from invasion. You know, to Woodrow Wilson, four or five dozen people was an invasion. Nowadays, this administration thinks two million is not an invasion, even though they bring death and suffering in the forms of drugs, sex trafficking, and human trafficking. At the same time, for the first time since I've been in Congress, we have seen that our mail We've got two mail just a day apart. One came in uh, September 17th, stamped by the Department of Justice as being received and reviewed and examined, and another from a Christian missionary to me, and it was reviewed by the Department of Justice. The Supreme Court has made clear that the Department of Justice cannot even get a search warrant to search a member's office. And yet this administration, like this House, doesn't think the rules, the law, the Constitution perhaps mean what they say. We have got to get back to following the Constitution if we're going to preserve this republic, but it is in dire situation. It is in a desperate situation. And if we do not get back to following the Constitution and observing the rules of the House, then our republic will be lost. And that's where we're being taken right now. With that, I yield back.